In this section, we're going to take a look at the different options available to Apex developers in regards to pages and regions. In the previous section, we walked through the wizard to create an application, and some of the questions that we were asked there were in regards to some pages that we wanted to create by default as part of our application. As I've mentioned over and over again, we're not locked into those choices that we make inside of that wizard we can go back and change anything we want at a later time. The application that gets generated for us functions properly, but is not a true production quality application. In this section, we're going to take a look at some of the different options that are available to us in regards to the pages and the regions that are on those pages. Let's hop back into our application. This is where we left off. We were in the form part of the application, where we can make modification to existing records, we can insert new records. We want to go in there and make some changes to this so that it looks a little more like a production quality application. Along the bottom of the screen, you'll notice a bunch of links here. Home, Application 111, Edit Page 3, Create Session. These are all available to us if we're running the application as a developer user. I'm logged in right now as the Paul user, who is a developer. So I have access to these links along the bottom of the screen. If I were logged in as an end user, I wouldn't see these links. I would just have the ability to run the application, but not make any changes to it. We want to edit this page and take a look at the code that's behind the page. So I'm going to click Edit Page 3 along the bottom of the screen here. This takes us to a new development page inside of our Apex environment. This can look really scary to a lot of new users because there's a lot of information here. But if you break it down logically, it's not so scary. On the left-hand side of the screen is a column called Page Rendering. Page Rendering is exactly what it sounds like. It breaks down all of the events when the Oracle Application Express engine renders a page to the end user. You can see there are sections before the header is displayed, after the header is displayed, before the regions are displayed, the regions themselves, after the regions are displayed, before the footer is displayed, after the footer is displayed, and something called dynamic actions. The page processing column gives you the ability to add code to the existing page, maybe after the submission of a page, additional validation, any additional processing that goes on the page, and even a section for after processing. On the right-hand side is a shared components column that gives you the ability to define the shared components used on this particular form. You can specify the parent tabs, lists of values, breadcrumbs, different lists, templates, security. We have the ability to go in and create a whole bunch of different shared components and use those components across our applications. If you remember from the previous lesson, we talked about the hierarchy that is associated with Apex applications. Inside of every page is one or more regions, and inside those regions, one or more items inside the region. If I click on the plus sign here, you can see that I have two regions on this page. As part of the body, I have a region here that is defined as an HTML region. I also have another position here where I have a breadcrumb region on the page. This HTML region was generated for me automatically. It is based on that page of the wizard when I created the application where I said I wanted a form and a report based on this particular table. Because I took default values for everything, Oracle generated all of the information for this particular region on the page for me automatically. If I click the plus sign next to this region, what do you think I'm going to see? Remember, in our hierarchy, regions are made up of items. So when I click on that, you can see I have all of the items that are associated with this particular region. I also have a bunch of buttons. Buttons do all of the transactional consistency inside of my Oracle database. This is generated for me automatically, and one of the really powerful features of Oracle Application Express. I don't have to write HTML or JSP code to create a new record, to delete a record out of my database, to update a record in my database. All of these are default values that are created for me automatically. Just because I create a page with a single region on it doesn't mean I'm limited to that one region. I can right-click on this region and delete the region if I wanted to. I can go in and edit this particular region and then wipe it out. I can then delete the region here. I don't want to do that for now, so I'm just going to click the back button. 
or I can create a new region. If I right click on body, I can select create. And now you can see that there are so many more different types of regions than what we saw in the wizard to create the application. The page on the create application wizard is there just to get you started. It has the most common things that we see on a regular basis. This page shows all of the different regions that are out there. And within each one of these, there are even sub regions that allow me to create different types. For example, if I select report, I'm taken to the wizard to say, okay, well, what type of report? Do you want an interactive report? Do you want a classic report? Do you want a wizard based report? Do you want a report that's based on a web service result? If I click on form, I have forms that are based on tables or views, the most common type, tables with a report, master detail, forms based on a procedure, tabular forms, queries, summary pages. I can build forms that are built on web services. If I go to charts, you can see that I have columnar charts, horizontal bar, pie and donut, candlestick. And even within these, I have more selections. If I select pie and donut, then I'm presented with a whole bunch of other options like 3D Pi or 2D Pi or 2D Donut. There's a tremendous amount of different options that are available to me. This is a list of all of the different types of regions that I can build. And once I define what's in a particular region, I can then tweak it to get the exact information the way I want to see it inside of my application. So just remember, when you see that wizard page to create an application, and it gives you the option to create pages that are based on forms or reports. Those are not the only ones that are available to you. There are way more inside of the Apex environment. You're also not limited to a page with just one region on it. That's the way the wizard creates it by default, but you're not limited to that. You certainly can create additional regions on a page, reorder those, redisplay those regions however you want on a particular page, even after the wizard completes.